GD is not a deal breaker for me. I think the more I mature and the older I get, I'm realizing like asking somebody to be your person for the rest of your life when you start a relationship, because I be looking for marriage. So I'm looking for the rest of my life when I start a relationship with somebody, because if you're not, then you shouldn't be with that person. But yeah, um, that's a lot to ask. At a certain age, men stop sleeping around. Thanks. You know what I mean? So if she's running into a lot of men who who are continuously sleeping around, then she maybe she need to she need to, to change the surroundings. Yeah, she need to change the surroundings or your screening process sucks. Right. That's out to the next video. Let's go. <laughs> it's Bitch Jump Podcast. Yeah. Let's go. GD is not a deal breaker for me. I think the more I mature mm -hmm. and the older I get, I'm realizing like asking somebody to be your person for the rest of your life when you start a relationship, because I be looking for marriage. So I'm looking for the rest of my life when I start a relationship with somebody, because oh, if you're not, then you shouldn't be with that person. But yeah, um, that's a lot to ask for somebody to be like that everything for you for like the next 60 years. Cause I swear I'm gonna live to like, I I'm a hundred or 90 okay. um, and I'm 30 something right now. So baby, I'm. do you, I really think I'm gonna be the only person that you ever deal with for the next 60 years? Like you're never ever gonna slip up ever in life. It's very possible sis. Mm -hmm. I just feel like that's really unrealistic. Like really unrealistic and a lot to ask. Like I feel like you're gonna fuck up, but just fuck up like respectfully and tell what? me. I, I, I didn't know that was even possible. Yeah, I don't know how you do that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how you can fuck up respectfully. Yeah. I mean, listen, what that's either giving me crazy or giving me insecure. You know what I mean? But if she's run, I, well, I'm gonna say this: at a certain age, men stop sleeping around. Thanks. You know what I mean? So if she's run into a lot of men who who are continuously sleeping around, then she maybe she need to she need to change the surroundings. Yeah, she need to change the surroundings or your screening process sucks. Facts. You know what I mean? Because again, as I mean, cause that shit is draining. I mean, you lose a piece of your soul every time you you knock a joint off. You oh lose a piece of goodness. a piece of yourself, man. I, I again as a former uh like VIP member of the cheat squad. Like, That's what I'm saying. Oh my God, I couldn't even fathom it now. It's just, it's, it's annoying. Like it is again. I love women. I love y'all. I really do. But trust me, I, and I didn't know this, but one of y'all is definitely enough. It is. I'm about just one of y'all is definitely bro. enough. Oh, bro. I couldn't jug right now. Just I'm over here. Do with you, and then I got to do it. I got to keep the lie. You imagine my, that shit is tiring. Burnt yo. out. Burnt out. So like again, at the end of the day. If you can juggle your women, still don't cheat. But if you want to be do your own thing, fine. But like the the, the part to me that's mm -hmm. the most draining is the, the deceitful part. Is I got to keep up this lie, or I got to keep up this facade. And then again with social media, I remember one time my homie had a birthday uh, party. His girl had, had a um, a getaway. We all went to the Poconos, mm -hmm. so we up there. Him, his girl, her friends, me, us all, us a whole bunch of us, probably like. 15 20 of us he's in a picture it's me a couple other people he in the back of the picture not even facing the camera <laughs> talking to somebody else he got in trouble some girl he was messing with was like oh i see he was all in the background so it's like with social media now it's just too much you know ne you never know people everywhere doing the most i don't have time for i, I have no time for that so yeah. sis she just got to find the right she got to go somewhere else. The guys, wherever she at, they into the BS. And again, if you a man, you got stuff to do and you got goals. That is the last thing that's on your Listen. mind is let me go. Let me go Listen. cheat. What the hell? I'm about to drop a quick knowledge for all my all my my homegirls out there. Nobody is going to love you harder than a broke man. Because <laughs> a man, a man with something to do, who he got a job and he got responsibilities. Hey, listen here, baby. I ain't got time for that marathon. You're going to get these motherfucking 20 pumps. Oh, 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 oh. And then I'm going to get my ass in the bed because guess what? I make that money tomorrow morning. This is my guy right here, but I do not uh, I, do, <laughs> I do not subscribe <laughs> to uh, that <laughs> version of the story. But you going to get these, listen, these good 
twenties, dog. Well, you, I must be from from Kenya or something because I'm in the marathon. I'm trying to win the marathon. So it could be the middle of the night. You said what? You you want to do what? Let me let me get about ten of these that's push ups to get my get my blood running. Right. Uh, let me get twenty of these push ups to get my blood flowing, and we good. But if Shorty continues to be picking these men, I don't like I said. I don't know if it's it could be a, a insecurity thing, man, with her, but. Again, when a man reaches a certain age, man, he he don't have time to do all that lying and cheating because he he, he got shit to do. Oh, yeah, he true. got shit to do. You know what I mean? And that shit is taxing. Can you? I'm gonna tell y'all, women, so right now, it is so taxing to lie and get a woman out of your house. What? Oh, yo, what you got planned? What you gonna do? <laughs> don't get comfortable. Oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go pick my mom up. From the hospital. So you, you, I mean, you lying like so a you said you about to go do something? Uh, <laughs> right uh, there. To go, um, you, you, ain't got, you guys gonna pick your son up or something? <laughs> that shit is so taxing. Man. And I'm gonna tell you, men, I mean, we, oh my God, man, the stigma on us men. Listen, I was, again, I, I'll be honest, you know, I, I go to therapy. I'm, 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 I've been uh, working on my accountability for the last couple of years. I was a part of the VIP club, I was there. And looking back i'm just like what was i doing that for <laughs> like, yeah. i was causing myself all this stress for no reason no real reason because again half of them women i don't know where they at they don't mm-hmm. give a damn about me now so it was like what was the point like i did all of that for no reason yeah. and, and just like oh said cheating is for the youngins because i mean i mean i guess it was the thrill of it trying to oh i can maneuver this and do this that she ain't know and da 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 and it's just a waste of time yeah, but you know, the moment i knew i was getting older was when I had a, a, a female in my bed and I didn't press, she didn't give me no sex because I oh, turned yeah. over and I went straight to sleep. Listen, that's how you know. Okay, cool. Listen, I I knew probably about, I don't know, eight, nine months ago, I went out to this party. I mean, girl was all over me, twerking and all of that. And all I'm thinking in my head is, I wonder if she likes to argue. <laughs> That's what you think about. She you, don't even, you don't even think about, I wonder if she got good sex. But I'm like, I wonder if she's the argumentative type. Because if I take her to the Cheesecake Factory, is she going to be like getting on my ner- No, I was like, nah. She's like, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I got a girl. Yeah, I can't do that. this. Sorry. I don't even want to waste My favorite line is, I don't even want to waste your time. Damn. <laughs>